Good morning. It's always a good morning when you got a push day. I just feel like coming into the gym, seeing the in the app, in the fitness culture app, it's a upper body day, specifically more a push day. So I got bench press, a lot of chest today, some triceps, and then I'll also add in lateral raise because that's a weak area for me. Also got a little bit of list cardio, but we won't be doing that for the YouTube. We'll just be showing the workout today. So I'm gonna do, get into our warm up five movements. We got two rounds of it, and I just do it in a circuit fashion. Get that heart rate up, sweat a little bit, warm up the muscle groups that we're gonna be targeting today, and also just overall shoulders, everything else, getting in that mobile, and as well as a little CNS tap into that so we can get things going right off the bat, nice and early. Let's rock and roll. All right, warm up, done and dusted, breathing hard, a little bit sweaty, that's kind of the key. Um, we're gonna be jumping into bench press now. Reps today, eight, six, four, two. So we're just laddering down heavier. Again, earlier in the week, we're a little bit heavier. Also, on the swole program, goal is to get big. Stronger muscle is eventually a bigger muscle. When we start talking about hypertrophy rep range versus strength, we also got to factor in eventually we'll be able to do more rep in those hypertrophy ranges. So eight, six, four, two, kind of a nasty one, but it'll be fun. Wasn't, wasn't bad, wasn't great. Do I have a 209? No, I don't. I'm exactly 208. Put on about a half a pound and maybe maybe almost a pound, half a pound probably in five days. That was the last time we, we weighed in and I was in between 207 and 208 on there. So biggest thing for me, scheduling eating. I know I, I hate it in, in some respects, but if I can just schedule meals, it's like anything else. You stick to a schedule, you have a goal and you just work backwards from it. Either you ride or die, run high Try to take a piece of mind, come try They won't survive They won't survive Money on my mind, so I'm Going to uh, just rip it out as many times as possible This is kind of the final set The goal is just to keep good form as we move through this set Form starts breaking down Start, you know, one side starts going up quicker Kill that rep Yeah, sit back, relax, I manage Yeah, walk in and we hit to do damage All right, dumbbell key press. So just starting off, pronated position as we come down. We're supinating and really stretching, and then back up. So biggest thing on the SWOL program, we're gonna see a lot of the exercises done individually with a decent amount of rest. And the reason that for that is because SWOL, we're looking at a, to get bigger and to get stronger. So when we start talking about how to maximize that, it is a little bit more rest time in between. It's getting a little bit heavier, and then you'll see with the reps and sets, they're kind of all geared towards getting a strength phase in there, but also that hypertrophy rep. So this is kind of the one I love to do beginning of the year as a baseline, get stronger, add some size. So the next 12 weeks, well, I guess next about 10 weeks now, it'll all be swole program. They won't survive. I just say chill, don't panic. Oh. Yeah. Sit back, relax, I manage. All right, we are on in this glorious sun as it's just peeking through the fitness culture window. Decline, we have this and then a cable crossover. Not done in superset fashion though, but that's what we got left for chest. And we're gonna wanna make sure these, a little bit higher reps. We got 10, eight, six on the decline. If you don't have this, if you have a decline bench, you can use dumbbells or even just a bench. If you don't have a decline bench either, I would say do a modified dip it's gonna be the closest thing that resembles this just from a point of what we're doing with the angle of our back to where we're pressing so elbows down and in just like a normal bench press from there we're pressing Every day I go to work, it ain't no time to relax. I put the time on the map. 
I put a team on my back. From here, I'll then finish it off with a bent over, just shortening up that angle a little bit, more flexion in the hips. And then what I'm gonna do here is just, it's a shorter movement through the chest, not getting quite as much stretch. So it's almost like a partial rep. That's barbell school crushers. Six total sets of triceps. Three here, three on a push down. And then we'll have six total sets, a lateral raise for shoulders. All right, at the risk of looking like a very white string bean, because I'm not even 210. If you're not 210, you're at risk of getting dragged off in the woods by cougars. So the goal is to get 210, so when I go back to Idaho, I don't get dragged off by a pack of wolves or a cougar. So I'm gonna finish off here with tricep extension. We'll flip it over, and then we'll do an upright row, trying to get as wide as we can. Yeah, let's get nasty with it. So we're just gonna do five sets of each, back and forth, 10 reps, no rest in between. That is just quick, efficient. If you're into the gym, no one's gonna ask to work in with you. Just superset, stay right there. Feeling like, got a decent pump today. I would say a pump today, eight out of 10. Sleeping a little bit better. Now, hydration, nutrition. That's where we're able to focus as we started to move into the house. Morgan, obviously we announced yesterday, we're pregnant, gonna be having a kid, and I feel like this is even more of a reason to be on a schedule. I think kids thrive when they're on a rough routine. Obviously, babies are gonna throw a whole new wrench, but if I'm on a schedule at least, it's gonna help me out in the long run, so I feel like it's what the next couple months are, just scheduling out our life, sticking to it. So I will be going over kind of supplements too, what I'm gonna be doing on this. Looking at maybe introducing a peptide, into the mix here. But anyhow, that's today's video. Check out, obviously, the full thing, Fitness Culture. If you wanna check out this challenge, make sure to check out the, the Fitness Culture training app as well, linked in the bio. We'll see you guys tomorrow. What a pretty freaking day. We just made our big announcement online that we are pregnant. <sighs> Feels good. Feels good. Feels good knowing at least we have the start of a house. Now it's just about making this house our home. We'll say that. And that starts with probably putting a good fence in. I have a cool sauna and cold plunge coming. I own all of this land down here. So I'm gonna need a good, unless, do I just rip this whole, like you can't really tell how much retaining work. If we went down there and looked up here, you'd be able to tell, but so much retaining work to, to happen if we want to extend this and a lot of dirt. Oh God. Which is why it's so important for me to work out in the morning because we have so much stuff going on the rest of the day business-wise as well. Lou, Hobbs, leave her alone. Hobbs has this thing when Lulu's pooping or peeing, he sits right next to her butt. Hey, Hobbs, leave her alone. Hey, stop it! Goodness gracious. I'm already getting my dad voice on. So yeah, a lot of exciting things. We'll do a full house tour once we get everything in. Um, until then, I gotta stay on top of picking up some poop. I still have to move out of the old house. Like, I still have a TV, a mirror, a bunch of golf stuff. That is the one thing. I wish this house had a bigger garage, like an area where I could keep all my golf stuff and maybe put a simulator. I don't think I have. I guess I could always buy the lot next to us if it was for sale, if I could find out who owns it. $150. But, I mean, this, this is right here is why we bought the house. Just love having this big, massive view behind us. No people at the Home Depot. Trying to be more, more domestic. Going to be a dad. Need to figure out how to fix things. How to hook up a dryer. Which I hate to admit this. This is the third time I've been back here because I haven't been able to hook up my dryer properly. So I'm going to do what every man should do the first time and ask for some damn help. And then I'm going to go hook up that dryer. The guy at Home Depot. Help me out. Apparently, I just need a muscle thing. When you got all these muscles, sometimes you don't want to muscle things because you're like, if I muscle this, this is going to break under this muscle. And so you don't. Oh, my God. And then what happens is you don't, you know, I was supposed to bend it a little bit, I guess. I'm like, sir, you tell me to bend this. I might just twisted steel and sex appeal. 
Have people been so excited? So excited. A lot of people are like, oh my gosh, I've never been this happy for someone I've never met. I'm like, hot damn, I love you guys. I love you guys. Not you who leaves a mean comment. Fuck off, Alexis. But you 99% people that are leaving very, very, breaking up. Very positive comments, thank you. Are you watching the TV, dude? Yeah. Are you watching the TV? Morgan, I love you, but you watch the dumbest movies. We're watching She's the Man. Like cheese? Oh, why, yes, I do. My favorite's Gouda. With Amanda Bynes? No, I'm not watching it. Uh, well, Respucia, what was that one? Norbit. Norbit. Ah! Norbit is another one she likes. So dumb. We're gonna go downstairs. We're gonna watch something manly. Still in this ridiculous outfit. Yes, I know. Played nine holes today. First time in like two weeks, actually, I played golf. Played decent. Shot a 41 for nine holes. So, but at the old house, going through stuff. As you guys probably already know, I had a love affair with shoes. I, and you know, I still like them, but I went ham there for a good four years on shoes. And now I had to move all these damn things all the time. I mean, this is just half. I've already moved. The other half. This is just half of the shoes. And we got and we got we got great ones. The royal blue, the hyper greens. I don't know. I'll probably sell some of these. I'll probably get rid of those. Probably get rid of these. Bo Jackson, I'm keeping those. My new balance, Emilian Dior. So yeah, I got some good ones, but I got a lot that I need to just get rid of. These Kobe's, I wore these to quite a bit of expos back in the day. Don't ask me why, I just love them. 